In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to be a successful no money spend player in season seven of NBA 2K22. My team, the first thing we're going to talk about, guys, is going to be grinding for these free cards. The perfect example is going to be come to your challenges and go down to these skills challenges. And you guys are going to want to grind for this and be now. If you guys are no money spent, you guys don't have that much MT, what you want to do is take advantage as as many free cards as possible. For example, you guys want to try to do this Manu Bull challenge. He's still a top three center in the game. And guys like Sean Kemp are pretty decent. Guys like Chris Mullen definitely do this challenge. Going to give you a very good free shooting guard. Guys like, you know, Bam and Abayo is not bad. You can get yourself a decent free point guard, Jante Murray or Tyrese Halliburton. And then I recommend you guys, if you have the time, to grind the whole Embiid challenge because at the end you will get the invincible Joel Embiid who yes I don't think is worth it for most people but if you guys are no money spent and don't have that much MT you guys want to grind for this invincible Joel card. Still talking about free cards the free cards you guys want to grind for are definitely going to be the ones in the exchange. Now if you didn't do Drew Holiday if you didn't do Bob McAdoo or if you didn't do Malik Sealy then you guys are kind of a bit behind but definitely grind for dennis johnson just make sure every time they release exchange reward these past weeks have been amazing drew holiday very good point guard malik sealy very good shooting guard or small forward and then you got bob mcadoo a very very good power forward so for example dennis johnson just came out today you guys can grind for him pretty easy to do all you have to do is play triple that online and play triple that offline i'll just quickly show you guys how to do that you just scroll down to dennis johnson right you have to win 30 triple that offline games and then win 15 triple that online and you will get a free dark matter point guard same thing with all these game modes right i recommend once you guys build a decent starting five hopping into clutch time so if you guys are no money spent your first goal should to be to build a starting five once you build a starting five then you can come hop into clutch time and you can start grinding for this dark matter gilbert and start grinding for this dark matter fernando martin who is still one of the best small forwards in the game and then as you progress through clutch time you'll get tokens you'll get hall of fame badges diamond contracts and then like i said at the end you will get this dark matter fernando card same thing with the triple that online if you guys want to grind after kelly Ubre, he's actually a pretty good shooting guard if you guys are maybe good enough at the game you can go after michael finley he's still probably a top three shooting guard in my team and then same thing with triple that offline yes it is a lot of luck to get some bonus but if you guys want to spend maybe like 20 30 minutes a day grinding in the triple that offline you do have a chance to get a very very good power forward and he's going to be completely free and that is going to be some bonus so i recommend you guys maybe do like 20 to 30 minutes a day of grinding triple that offline force a bonus and then if you guys really like grinding xp or if you really need a good shooting guard then you could go after this invincible anthony edwards do i think it's worth it probably not you can spend all that time doing something else in the game but if you guys want to grind xp want an invincible card you can get anthony edwards for pretty much free the next way to be successful as a no money spam player guys is just going to be trying to making as much mt as possible and then you want to save and just you know buy these good budget cards so if you guys check around through my channel i have a bunch of team builders i have a bunch of budget card videos talking about the best budget cards the best budget teams the best free teams you guys can build right the best free cards in the game i recommend just scroll through my channel a lot of helpful videos there but i'll teach you guys some mt making methods in this video now i did make a video going over how to make 100 000 mt super fast so a lot of these methods are going to be the exact same way so the first one you guys want to do is going to be the shoe method and basically what you guys want to do is find a gold find a bronze or a silver shoe doesn't really matter i'll just use bronze for this example you want to click click on customize shoe and then you want to add a you want to add a bronze shoe boost a silver shoe boost or a gold one because you're not going to really use those shoe boosts you only use the diamonds and then once you guys build this shoe you guys want to send it to your auction house i'll show you guys how much mt that shoe is really going for you guys probably think it's going for nothing like 100 to 200 mt but if you guys come over to consumables and you click on shoe cards right doesn't even matter what tier they are the lowest shoe in the game right now is going to be around 500 mt and at sometimes they get like 400 mt this one is probably like a snipe i'll buy that one and then let's back up for 500 but sometimes if you do it at the right time these will go for like six to eight hundred mt and to know when's the best time to sell your shoes is if you guys come over to the xp daily challenges if one of these daily challenges ever says buy a shoe card from the auction house those cards prices will go up to like 800 mt so you guys can build a bunch of shoes and then wait till that day comes and then you can just unload on like 50 of your bronze shoes and make like a good amount of mts so that's going to be 
you know, not we're not making millions of MT in this episode or this this video. I'm not trying to teach you guys how to make millions. Just give you guys some, you know, little little MT making methods here and there. So that's the first one, right? You can list these bronze shoes for like around 500 MT right now. Usually it's like 600 to 700. The next one is going to be if you guys are grinding clutch time, maybe you're grinding domination and you're wondering what the hell do I do with my tokens? Do not spend them on these like amethyst and ruby and sapphires like the players they're just going to be not worth it like none of these galaxy opal cards are worth it you can buy like a card that's worth 2000 mt that's better than all of these galaxy opals pink diamonds and diamonds so what you guys want to do with your tokens is you want to come over to the token market and you want to spend them on these bronze or silver badges like badge packs we'll just do a silver one for example i'll just give you guys a quick example here three tokens Right, just going to show you guys what we do get so we do get a silver stop and pop so now let me go to my collection and we'll just see how much it's going for like i said not going to be super we're not going to make millions of mt from this one you know badge making a method right we're not making millions or hundred thousands we're just making small amounts of mt that are going to help you guys out in the long run so silver stop and pop as you guys can see might be like 500 mt 900 750 looks to be the lowest so you guys just want to come check the auction house and we can see 750 mt is going to be the lowest if i really wanted to you know penny pinch i could probably put it up for like 700 or like 650 but honestly just put up for 500 there you go 500 mt that easy that's what you guys should do with your tokens if you guys don't mind grinding offline i would really recommend grinding domination go for this season rewind one because you're going to make a lot of mt you'll probably make if you finish the whole domination just from the mt you get from playing the game and then the mt you get for the three stars you'll probably make like 50,000 mt just for completing one domination and you'll get tons of good hall of fame badges which brings me to my next point is if you guys are a no money spend player yes you should have done this a while ago but if you guys are just starting now you want to stack as many hall of fame badges as possible and then once you can afford a really expensive card then you want to put like 10 15 20 hall of fame badges onto one singular card and then you can make a bunch of profit now this was a lot better method a while ago right when we first are getting our dark matters when we first are getting galaxy opals and you would add like seven eight hall of fame badges you can make like a million profit now to make a good amount of mt from our expensive card adding hall of fame badges you probably have to add at least 15 i would say to make like at least 500,000 mt but that's what i'm saying grind domination grind all these game modes and just try to save up as many hall of fame badges as possible and then once you guys save up enough mt maybe 300 400 500k you can go buy a guy like taco now you don't want to buy cards that, that came out a while ago you want to wait every single friday so for example if a taco fall type of player comes out on friday or like a bull bull type of player they come out on friday what you guys want to do is buy them on friday for pretty cheap you want to badge them out with your 10 15 20 hall of fame badges and then you'll be able to make a good amount of mt when they sell but yeah guys those are gonna be my methods to be a successful no money spend player in season seven what you guys want to do is basically just focus on grinding for free cards whether that's clutch time triple threat online offline level 40 grinding for joel and bead and just try to build the best possible free team so you're not having to spend that much mt on these auctionable cards and then you guys what which next thing you guys want to do is you want to focus on some little mt making methods whether it's a token one whether it's sniping whether it's the shoe boost one whether it's just playing the game and earning mt that way that's what you guys want to focus on and then the last thing is going to be play domination and just grind these game modes for hall of fame badges that then you guys can add to these expensive players and make a lot of mt if you guys do have any questions just put them down below in the comment section i'll go through read and respond to all of the comments so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if it did help you guys out make sure to drop a like down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace